Greetings, Candace Sanderson, author of The Reluctant Messenger, Tales from Beyond Belief. What I wanted to do today is to share with you a meditation that I had last Friday. This happened at Goddess I Am, a metaphysical shop in uh, Naples, Florida, where I live. Um, last Friday was March 15th, the Ides of March, if you remember uh, Shakespeare's play about Julius Caesar. But I got to the meditation early as usual, and I dug around in my purse to pull out my favorite blue pen, and it wasn't there. The only thing I could find was a red pen, which is kind of unusual. I didn't even know I had a red pen in my purse, but uh, anyway, I pulled out the pen, and, and as I always begin my journal entries, I, I put the date at the very top, and I realized it was March 15th, the Ides of March. And then one of the famous um, phrases from from Shakespeare's play came to me, beware of the Ides of March, and that started a message, and the message was, beware, beware we surround you with loving energy and divine love. Um, Beth began the meditation by going around to each person, and of course with their permission, giving them a spray or two of, um, you know, something that she has in her, her store. She has so many different um, sprays made with essential oils, and it's it's always interesting to see which spray that she chose. So once she was, while she was spraying everyone, she told us that this was something, um, a spray, and it was a combination, and the, the title on it was love, and I thought, well, of course it is, you know, because this was the information that I had just, I had just gotten. And as we started the meditation, as usual, we were guided, you know, Beth tells us to take a few very deep, purposeful breaths. And with the first inhalation of breath, a vision started for me. And I saw coming from the very top of the room, this like whirlwind of energy coming in. Uh, it came to the very center of the room um, maybe just a few feet or so below the below the earth before it started circling back up. But what was interesting about it, it looked like um, like a tornado or or a whirlwind of Valentine's. It was nothing but these beautiful red hearts everywhere. And as the energy came in, it then circled back up around us, the you know meditation participants. And eventually that stream of energy stopped, but that whirlwind around us created a torus field, a toroidal field, and that energy just kept kept churning and kept moving, uh, kept swirling. And then um, all of a sudden I felt this energy shift, and I knew that things were different, things were changing. And I had this most beautiful, uh, powerful, sense of love that came into me and I, I've met with enough uh, messengers now that I, I start to really recognize some of them and I certainly recognize this as being the energy from the angels um, there was so much love and compassion and I could just feel it it, it just it just uh, permeated the entire room um, the only thing that can come close to to describing this would be you know, if you think of a, a mother who just gives birth to her baby, and as she looks at that beautiful infant and realizes it's her, it's part of her, it's just the most wonderful thing in the world, then get that and multiply it, you know, a um, hundredfold, a thousandfold, and that doesn't even come close to describing like the love and the, the you know, you know, the compassion that I felt as the angels entered the room. Um, this was pure, deep, just um, unconditional love. Um, so then, as you know, as I realized this was the angels, then the messages started to flow. And the first message was talking about this toroidal field that was now surrounding us and still moving and churning. And the message said, the circle represents wholeness, timelessness, and solidarity. Embrace this living dynamic representation of love. Okay, then something odd happened. Well, I guess 
most everything that happens to me is odd in some people's eyes, but um, the energy started shifting again, and I realized that there was this this change. Okay, so this circle that had been created by the energy then lifted into the air, and it became like in the middle of the air, and it started changing, and it started vibrating. And as I watched it, what happened is... Um, it changed into, believe it or not, a tambourine. And as it continued to vibrate, then, you know, that, that clingy um, sound that only a tambourine can make, you know, it was beautiful. And that, that music like permeated the entire air. Uh, and it just, it just felt, you know, it, it just felt beautiful. And then, um, another message came in and let's see it says as the music okay so it was like the the music summoned more energy to actually come into it and so the circle of love that we had actually grew larger and larger and uh, in step forth this most divine um, beautiful being of light and I didn't know, you know, was she an angel? Was she a goddess? Was she my higher self? You know, I didn't know. But then, but it's when I recognized her presence, then the um, messenger spoke, and the the message was, she lives within. Open your heart to welcome her more fully into your life. Dance to the music within. Call forth the energy of divinity, love, and compassion. Bring this energy into your heart. As you breathe, be mindful and allow the compassion of the ages to enter into your divine space. Tap into the connection of our realm. Let the love that surrounds you enter your divine self. Allow that love to guide you as you traverse the path of life. We are always around, awaiting your call to aid. Be mindful of this and see us as trusted friends. We look over you with the love and the compassion a mother has for her beloved child. Know that we are here simply awaiting your call. And, you know, I find that to be so true when it comes to the angels. They are with us. They guide us all the time. They were with us when we came into this earth, and they will be with us when it's time for us to... Um, release our physical bodies and move on to another dimension, move on to heaven. But with this word, then the, the um, vision changed again. And this tambourine made like a 180 degree turn. And then um, its music changed. There was still a lot of vibration, but instead of it being melodious and, uh, you know, uh, that beautiful... Um, jingle sound that you hear with the tambo, tam, tambourine, it became um, loud and boisterous and almost painful to hear. And I realized just as before when the tambourine was pulling in more energy of, of love and compassion, this was doing the opposite. It was um, just vibrating so roughly and it came above my head and then just started moving down my body and I realized what it was doing. It was breaking loose a lot of the old uh, stale energy that I had within my energy field. And so the energy that no longer served me was now starting to break away and then it was actually, I could see it float off um, almost like smoldering ashes and I realized it was leaving me in a much better space. Um, as we get rid of the energy that doesn't serve us anymore, we make room for the energy that does serve us. And for, you know, it, we make room for uh, love and compassion. And, um, you know, I don't know, it, it was actually just very, very powerful. And then I had another, another slight message, um, you know, at the very end of this. The messengers told me that this, um, I don't know what to call it, but maybe a spirit tambourine was actually an interdimensional portal to their realm, to the angel realm, and that I could use it again. Whenever I was in a space where I needed to tap into that energy, 
all I had to do was remember this tambourine and step into the center of it and it would guide me to where I needed to go to to a realm that would be much more positive uh, much more prayerful much more um, full of mindfulness love and compassion and what I found over the years is as I work with um, non-physical friends as I work with energy I have been um, gathering these tools all along and these are tools for my consciousness awareness expansion uh, toolbox and this is definitely one tool that I would would use again I've already learned that when you're in some sort of a sacred space you can bookmark it you can remember it and come back to it and now with a tool like this it is the uh, that tambourine that serves itself as the bookmark we know that everything is energy when we look at um, when we look at the thoughts that we have how do you feel when you have negative thoughts or, or you're in pain or um, if you're angry with someone you know you, you really don't feel very good if you were to take a um, kind of take your temperature how am I feeling but when you can replace those feelings with feelings of compassion, feelings of, um, of friendship, of gratitude, it lifts your entire body. It lifts your entire energy field. Um, thoughts are things. You know, thoughts are energy. So when we can, this is one way we can use the tools that we receive. We know that these are thoughts that we have, but they also pull into the energy of what they represent and this tambourine the spirit tambourine was certainly uh, a surprise for me I didn't expect it but it was very very powerful to receive this and then getting the message that it's another tool I could use it's like this is definitely uh, something I will tap into again so I hope that you enjoyed this have a great day and uh, feel free to subscribe below if you'd like to. See you later. Bye.